So, we've just had a bunch of reveals and leaks that I thought I might want to take a look at. So today we're going to take a look at the leaks and reveals from the past live stream that's just happened. Also, I am sick while making this, hence why I didn't do a review. And starting out these leaks, we have Missing Link, Bumblebee, and Cliff Jumper. Which, really, these are the next ones you're going to be doing. Like, I understand Optimus, because he's big and he's the face of the franchise. I guess Bumblebee is. But, like, these things are the size of a core class bot. And they're putting the budget into it to make it a missing link figure. Which means these things are going to be $80. Which, yeah, that's not, that's just not it. Maybe if they were bigger and had more engineering, I'd go into it, but the novelty of this will quickly wear off if these are where we're going next. Hasbro, just give me a sound wave already. That's that's what I want. We're talking about Missing Link. We're going to look at a third-party figure that's doing Missing Link, but better. They're making a Grimlock from, the, from Bingo Toys, I think it's called, which... This is where we should be going to Missing Link. Like, updating them, not just whatever Hasbro's doing. Like, sure, Hasbro did Optimus well, but with Bumblebee coming next, and yeah. Let's just hope this one doesn't cost as much as Hasbro's Bumblebee. And they're also putting out Transformer Beyblades, which, bit strange. I honestly forgot the Beyblades were a thing for the longest time. Because they were doing this baby burst thing, which I just wasn't into. So, these these Transformer ones look interesting. The Optimus and Megatron one, they are interesting enough. Then there was an Optimus Primal one, which I thought looked good, but isn't really for me. Maybe I might pick up the Optimus and Megatron ones, but I might just end up skipping these. And next with the toy crossovers, there's Hot Wheel Transformers that's coming out. Like, there's a truck and VW for Optimus and Bumblebee. But then Mattel's also making G1 Optimus. And it actually transforms. Like, that's definitely G1 Optimus. <laughs> but the thing with this is, it costs $80. For a G1 Optimus from Hot Wheels, that's the pretty much the same size as core class figures which i get it it's full of die cast but 80 dollars for this yeah that's just not it next up we have thundertron who's being repackaged into leader class with a with a recolor of one of the new bots i forgot the name of and a rat bat recolor this this isn't it like I don't have the Thundertron as it is, but from what I've seen in reviews, it's not that good of a figure. So, them moving it into the leader class, giving it a hand and it losing its foot accessory, that's just strange. Why would you do that? Like, this isn't the way you do leader class. And for the price that it's going to be, this isn't worth it. But I'll see what they do with it, but this is just something that's going to have a deep impact on the future of leader class. Now let's look at some of the Studio Series leaks. So starting off we have a generic Autobot Trooper from the Wharf of, of Cybertron. And this is a retool of the Barricade mold that they put out. Now I don't have Barricade as he looked like one of the worst things to have been designed. And here <clears throat> they haven't changed that much to sway me into getting it. He still looks all kibbly down and bogged down with articulation problems and everything. So, I this is a clear skip. There's no way. And the vehicle mode doesn't even look that cool. Like, Barricade at least had a cool looking Batmobile mode look going for him. But this, this doesn't look like anything. And they're finally putting out the Bumblebee Skywarp. Which, it's a about time is I'm pretty sure he's the last one that is need to come out from the Bumblebee movie seekers 
Now, I don't have any of the Seekers, as I kind of missed out on them, as I wasn't into Studio Series as much. But, at least Skywarp's finally coming out. Just, the only issue I have with him is, where's the black? Skywarp is the black and purple jet. This is grey and purple. Uh, this is an issue with the movie, but, like, where's his black? Next up, we have Springer, who's going to be leader class and is going to be... A retool from the Siege version, and it's not a heavy retool, like they're not changing a whole ton of stuff, they're changing the shoulder pads, and I think some of the arms and the chest is a bit more chubbier, but like, leader class, as he is the triple changer, I do see where it's coming from, but the second you see his accessories, that's where the real monies come from, so... I'd say you do get a lot from the Springer, and me who hasn't got the Siege one is happy this is coming out, but I do see where people have been having issues with him. Also, what's with the hammer? And on the last thing for the Studio Series, we have Steeljaw, which... It's about time we get more Blasters cassettes, but is this where Core Class is now, where we're just putting out cassette icons and cassette bots? Like, I'm happy we're getting more, but like... This is $20, and for a little brick that's gonna live in someone's chest, this just isn't it. Maybe if he was packed alongside a, another figure as an accessory, it'd be more worth it, but after Rumble and Frenzy and their price, I'm just a bit more hesitant on them. But at least he comes with one of Blaster's speaker hands, so that's something, I guess. Also, we have Studio Series 86 Bumblebee, which is about the same size as the Earthrise uh, Cliff Jumper mold. But here, it looks like there's no parts forming, which has automatically made this figure better for me. The vehicle mode is a bit squished and doesn't exactly look like a Volkswagen Beetle, which Bumblebee didn't really look like in the, in the movie. So here, I'm fine with it. The roof is a bit too squared though, but I do like what I'm seeing with the robot mode. The robot mode does look really good, except for the head. The head looks a bit strange, which I can't really place what it is, but I mean, at least they gave him his little pistol. <laughs> but I swear to God, if Hasbro comes out later with a blue window version of Bumblebee, I'm not going to be happy. And next up, we have the 40th anniversary Straxus that they're putting out, the comic book style figure. Which, I really love how Straxus looks here. Like, sure, he's a retool from Galvatron, and we all saw this coming. And they actually did a good job of retooling Galvatron's chest away. And it's really good. Like, there's not much wrong I see here. And I love the little band-aid dots I've given him to give him the comic book-like appearance. The head is a little bit strange though, but it's it's fine. When I get it in hand, it might look better. And also, this is making me want to get the rest of the figures when they come out. As I was planning on getting Grimlock, I was maybe thinking about skipping Shockwave, but seeing the box arts come together like they have been, it's really interesting. And I think we might be getting Blaster next, as looking on the box art. There is a red and gold looking hand there. Also, Transformers 1 are bringing back bot shots in their weird little way. Like, they're not full-on bot shots, but they're using the bot shot molds and they even have the chest spinny dice thing that bot shots have. Honestly, I'm happy bot shots are coming back, because I really loved bot shots. And finally, we have the Through the Space Bridge thing, where they tease their upcoming ones, which are just a bunch of recolors here. So, we've got Energon Megatron being turned into, uh, Ener into Galvatron, which was going to happen. At least it kind of makes his alt mode make a little bit more sense. We have a recolor of Boulder Crash into a another figure that looks like it suits the name a bit better. We have a Quake coming out, which I've heard is a retool from Skullgrin, a figure I don't own, as I never liked how it looked, other than the skull head, which 
If this is just doing Skullgrin's tank mode again, I'm not gonna pick it up. Hopefully it's not though. Next we have Slipstream off of the Windblade body. Now the body works for Windblade. I don't know how well it'll work with Slipstream though, as she's more of a classic seeker like design over Windblade's newer design. Next they're putting out a G1 Optimus in deluxe scale, which is just a poor man's missing link Optimus, I guess. So cheaper missing link Optimus. Which I'm I'm happy for it. More more missing link Optimus. Like this also means more Optimus. I'm running out of space on my Optimus shelf. Next we have just a repackage of of Metal Hawk and I think there's a little extra um, paint apps on him or something. I don't know. They mentioned something about that. Next, we have animated Motor Master, which I'm so happy for, as the original animated Stunticons are so hard to get a hand of now, and I really wanted those Stunticons. But with Motor Master coming out here, I'm hoping we get more of the animated Stunticons. Next, we have Leader Class Soundwave, which is a repackage of Netflix Soundwave with three cassettes. This is the impact Thundertrons had on leader class. This sound wave is was a Voyager scale that was put up a couple extra dollars during Netflix because it was so hard to get and so rare. But now it's coming out. I'm happy we've got more chances to gain him. Just the price is at is just not it. Maybe if they brought him back down to Voyager scale it'd be worth it, but I own this figure twice now, and it's not really that worth it. And finally, we have a Marta Megatron in the Galvatron colors, which, yeah, we saw this coming. It was going to happen eventually, but yeah, that's about it. So tell me, what do you think about these upcoming figures? Do you like them, or are you going to skip them entirely? Personally, I'm excited for a couple of them, but not all of them. But tell me what do you think? Thanks for watching.